Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In the previous video, we have successfully designed our user dashboard and admin dashboard for our billing and inventory management system. In this episode, we will create a database for our application and create all the required tables for our billing and inventory management system. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial. In order to create our database, I'll be using Microsoft SQL Server 2014. You can use any version of Microsoft SQL Server. So let's start our SQL Server Management Studio. And then connect our database using local and Windows authentication. In order to create our new database, go to the database, uh, right click on it and click on new database. And then type any name you like to give to your database I will give its name any store and click on ok to create a database so we have successfully created our new database let's expand it by clicking on this plus icon and go to tables we do not have any tables yet we will be creating new tables required for our application so go to tables and right click on it and click on new and then table to create a new table uh, the first table will be a user table and we will have to specify our column name and data type for our application the first column will be uh, user id so i'll just give id and it will be of integer data type and another column will be first name and it will be of Barcode data type and its length 50 will be enough. And another one is last underscore name. And uh, this will also be of barcode data type. And 50 is enough for last name. If you want to give longer length, then you can just give uh, less than 255. Barcode holds the data data of 255 length. Another field will be email and its data type will be bear, bear care and length will be 150 and we will have another column of username and its data type will be of bear care and length will be 50 is enough then another will be password and data type will be text I am giving text data type because password will be encrypted so it will be longer so it might be longer than 255 so I'll just give a text data type this username and password will be used to log into our application and another data type will be contact of the user and this will be of barcode data type and length will be 15 is enough and another will be address and address will be of text data type since address can be longer than 255 length and another will be gender gender will be of barcode data type and its length will be 10 I think 10 will be enough for this and another column will be user underscore type uh, this user type will be of barcode data type and length will be 15 is enough i think uh, user type is in our application there will be of uh, two different users one will be admin user and another will be normal user normal user will have permission to access to purchase forms and sales forms and dealer and customer form but admin will have the permission to access to all the forms in our application like managing users, managing products, managing categories, uh, dealer and customers, uh, tracking transaction, etc. And under column will be added underscore date. It will be of date time, date time, date type and another one will be of added by and it will be of integer data type uh, added by column will hold the user id of uh, id of the user who is logged in so we can track that who created whom so 
and this id column will be a primary key and it will also be a auto in increment in order to create this uh, primary key select the id and right click on it then click on set primary key so we have successfully created the id as primary key in order to make id and auto increment we have to select this id and scroll the column properties and go to identity specification and double click on identity specification then double click on is identity then it will be yes and identity increment will be one identity seed will be one so we have successfully make our id uh, as a primary key and a auto increment as well so let's save our table by pressing ctrl and yes on our keyboard then give the name of our table as you want it will be tbl users and click on ok so we have successfully created our user table let's refresh the tables here we have our tbl user let's create another table for our category just go to the table right click on table and click on new and table first column will be of id it will be a integer data type and another will be a title it will be a barcode data type it will be a category title and 50 is enough for me another will be a description and it will be a text data type another will be add date underscore date and it will be of date time date time data type and another will be add date another will be added underscore by and it will be of integer data type let's make the id a primary key by right clicking on it and set primary key and it will also be an auto increment so select the id column and scroll the properties and double click on identity specification and then double click on is identity so we have successfully make our id as an auto increment and as a an a primary key as well so let's save this table as a tbl underscore categories by pressing ctrl and s and giving its name tbl underscore categories and then press ok i'll just close it and refresh the tables refresh so we have possibly created table users and table categories similarly we will need another table called products to add all the records of product we have in our store so just right click on tables new and then table and uh, the first one will be id it will be of integer data type and then another will be a name it will be a product name and it will be a barcode data type and length will be 50 is enough and then its category then we will need to add a column for a category it will be of integer data type since it holds it will hold the uh, id of a category so it will be an integer data type and another will be description and it will be of text data type and another will be rate rate will be of decimal data data type it its length can be 18 and after decimal i'll need two more characters so i'll get in and two similarly we'll need another called uh, quantity q t y i'll give short form it is quantity it will also be of decimal data type and it will also be 18 to and another will be add the date on which it was added add the date and it will be of date time date time data type and and the last one will be added by will insert integer it will be of integer data type and let's save this table by pressing ctrl and s and giving its name it will be tbl underscore products then press ok i'll just replace the tables 
so we have successfully created our tbl underscore products table similarly we will need another table called customer or dealer we will hold the information of our customer or dealer dealer is the people who from whom we will purchase and customer will be people whom we sell the products so we need to add information about all of our dealer or customer so just let's create a new table go to right click on tables new and table first one will be id it will be dealer or customer id integer data type and the second one will be of name name of the dealer or let's give type first it will it will specify whether the information is about dealer or customer and it will be of bare character type and 50 is enough and then name of the dealer or customer it will also be of bare care and length of 150 and then email email will be of bare care and 150 and then contact content will be of bare care 15 and then another will be of address address of our dealer or customer it will be of text data type another will be added underscore date and it will be of date time data type and on the last one will be added underscore by and it will be of integer data type we have created all our columns for our dealer and customer table let's make the id primary key by right click on it and set primary key and we'll also make it an auto increment by scrolling on properties and double click on identity specification and again double click on this identity so we have successfully make our id and auto increment and a primary key let's press ctrl and s to save it will be tbl underscore d and d and cost because it is a dealer and customer it holds the record of dealer and customer so it will be table underscore da underscore cust short form for dealer and customer then press ok so we have successfully created another table for dealer and customer let's refresh our table i think i have forgotten uh, to specify product id as an primary and uh, auto increment so i'll just go to table products and right click on it and click on design to see a design yes we haven't i haven't i forgot to make it our primary key and uh, auto increment so i'll just right click on it and click on set primary and scroll here and click on double click on identity specification and again double click on is identity so we have successfully set our product id as auto increment and a primary key so i'll press ctrl and s to save changes so i have successfully updated our id as primary key and auto increment if you could not save the changes you made then you need to make certain changes on tools then go to options and then you can go to designers and table and database designers and here you, general, you will have a checkbox checked this prevent saving changes that require table recreation just uncheck it and press on ok now try to save the changes by pressing ctrl and s it should give you permission to save changes so this is it now let's create our another table to save all the uh, to save all the details of our transaction and summary of our transaction we will create two different transaction tables one will be tbl underscore transaction and another will be tbl underscore transaction details Tra tbl transaction will hold summary of our transaction where transaction underscore detail will hold all the detailed information about the transaction so let's create our new table then the first one will be tbl underscore transaction and the column will be id and of integer data type and it will be second one will be type either is a purchase or a sales and 50 is enough another will be d underscore 
underscore id who purchased or whom we sold the product so it will be of integer data type and another will be a grand total since tbl transaction will the summary of our transaction so grand total will be one of the column and it will be of decimal data type 18 by 2 similarly another will be a transaction date underscore date and it will be of date time data type and another will be tax it will be of decimal data type another will be discount and uh, it will also be of decimal data type 18 by 2 and the last one will be added underscore by and it will be integer let's make our transaction id as a primary key and also a auto increment by double clicking on on identity specification and again double clicking on is identity and let's save our table by pressing ctrl and s it will be tbl underscore just c t i n s it will hold the summary of our transaction let's refresh our table we are table along the transaction similarly we will create a last table called tra transaction detail table it will hold all the detail of our transaction new table and the first column will be id it will be of integer data type second will be product id and uh, it will be of integer data type and another will be rate of the product so it will be decimal data type 18 by 2 and another will be quantity it will also be of decimal data type and uh, 18 by 2 and another will be total it will also be of decimal data type 18 by 2 and another will be d cost id whom we sold or purchased product from and another will be added added underscore date it will be of date time data type and the last one will be added underscore by it will be of integer data type let's make the id as primary key and auto increment by double clicking on identity specific and again double clicking on is identity let's save the table as tbl underscore underscore detail and press enter let's refresh our tables so guys we have successfully created our transaction detail table as well so we have one two three four five six six table for our project in our any store database and the tables are tbl underscore categories tbl underscore d cost tbl underscore products tbl underscore transaction under detail tbl underscore transaction and tbl underscore users so these tables will be enough for our application in another episode we will connect database with our application so thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like and share if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible and uh, if you want to see more videos like this then don't forget to subscribe and click on little bell yellow bell icon so you will get notified when i upload new videos so see you soon bye bye